Welcome back to the channel guys and uh, yeah today I've been as you can see painting and uh, just getting basically some of this rust proofing done so we've actually throughout this evening we've seam sealed all the crevices in the back of the lights here we've done the other side there as well we've also done the inside here where it was delaminating here and that rust repair that we did here and just continued it to about there just to uh, seal that in basically so I'm just letting that dry and cure and uh, yeah we've done all the underside as well that's all uh, had another layer of the uh, under seal we've then zinc primed all the uh, outside as you can see all the grey stuff and then uh, just clean that up we've done all the arches as well just give them a lick of uh, acid etch primer so that's uh, going to stop them rusting a bit better and then what I've been doing here as well in the roll cage those extra three plates that we needed for the inside I've actually got them all finished now so we got that one done that one this one down here and uh, this one just here on the back wall as well if you can see that so this one here so yeah they're all done basically so what I need to do next is actually weld the uh, sideboard plate here to the main plate on the floor uh, just tack it in place take all the cage back out and then that's when we can really prep and get the uh, the rest of the cage done underneath those feet and just rust proof it tiger seal underneath the bolts when they basically go back in and then uh, do a final stitch weld along that join so those plates are then two uh, become one basically and uh, yeah that's about it really but like I say it's just an update guys just a small update video for you guys just wondering what's going on um, so yeah I managed to get some work done on it this evening and uh, just cracking on with small bits basically like I say I spent an hour or two cleaning all that uh, underside up and under and uh, putting the uh, what's it called the grey stripe uh, seam sealer all underneath basically and up where the old chassis leg met the new chassis leg that I welded in so that's all been done um, the only thing we're gonna have to then do is clean out this whole interior fix these holes as well that are in the floor from the old roll cage and uh, get them sort of sorted out I've um, I've basically then just got to clean all this up and uh, I've been debating a few ideas of what to do with this floor as well I thought which would look quite nice instead of putting the mats back in I was thinking of making some new custom ones with carbon so it'd be a custom floor mat basically so I'd use the uh, mats that I've got as a template cut some carbon sheet out on that line it underneath with say some aluminium and uh, and then just get some of that edging trim that you get uh, for well for thin sheet metal and run that all the way around it basically so it's got a nice seal on the edges um, just to clean up the floor and uh, make it look a bit nicer here and probably actually uh, get some really heavy duty velcro or something like that and just velcro them down so they don't shift about and then um, obviously on the driver's side get some grip tape and make a nice uh, section where my feet would be on the grip tape on that and uh, yeah that's an idea anyway so just to make it look a bit nicer a bit more custom um, yeah and then the only other thing we need to do as well we need to sort this roof bit out here because you can see it's not fixed to the roof anymore here so I've got some uh, really strong grab adhesive uh, glue for that which is like a two pack epoxy uh, if I can find it uh, da, 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 there it is so yeah some mitre fast basically so I'm going to use some of this and basically this just bonds stuff like crazy together um, yeah so hopefully this does the job and actually uh, gives it a good stick basically but 
yeah it'll work on metals and everything like that as well but it's really good and really quick grabbing stuff so that's what i need just to uh secure that sunroof panel back up inside the car um other than that i haven't really been able to touch it for a, a couple of weeks now um so yeah so my my sort of next aim is really to get all that back end buttoned up get it all seam sealed which it is done now which is what i've done this evening and then i want to obviously get that all under sealed which i've got the can of paint there and i have to let that all dry as you can see from the fumes in here is, is pretty strong but i'm gonna let that dry come back to it another day let it fully cure go go to town underneath there with uh under seal basically and then i really want to get that reserve fuel tank back on the car this one here that's behind me so i want to get that back on the car uh put it clip it all back up and then uh, i want to try and get this engine running because it hasn't run for i don't know how many months now and uh, obviously it's not very good to leave an engine for too too long without starting it so i want to start it and see uh, see if it's any, if it's got any better basically with that stutter and uh, hopefully we can start diagnosing it and then my next task i really want to get at is the um the seams on the actual seals the seals actually seem to be coming apart from one another here from the protection so i think the actual protection of the underliner where the guys welded it they've welded them back on obviously taken back the original protection now the protection is starting to curl back and away from itself so we're gonna have to trim off all the excess clean it back to bare metal spray it back with some etch primer then um, then probably yeah then paint it and um, give it an under seal as well on the seams so yeah and then uh, and then seam seal it and then paint it as well so because we don't want it to rust any more than it already has so that's the next kind of jobs anyway that's going to be coming up in the next few weeks hopefully and uh yeah and then hopefully by the summer we'll get this car fully uh sanded back down again with uh, about 800 grit and we'll give the car full paint again and uh this time i'm going to give it a full decent lacquer as well all over the car and probably give it about five five coats of lacquer or something like that just to really really secure in the paint and make it really hard and durable for any winters and any track days that i want to do and if i get any marks on it i can buff them out really easy and not have to worry about the paint chipping and any of that rust setting back in so that's the plan that's the future plans we're not going to give up we're going to keep moving forward with this car and uh make a comeback even better than better than ever and uh yeah i'm really excited really really looking forward to getting this done and uh yeah she's not looking too happy for herself at the moment you can see that dust that's on this car and just the amount of crap that comes off the roof of my shed you can see there is it's pretty bad and i hate to see it in this condition but like i say Unfortunately, these uh, sort of projects take time and take a lot of effort, and uh, you can only do what you can do, basically. So I'm doing what I can do. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for the support and all the love from you guys. I uh, I hope you like the build, and uh, hopefully um, come out to see it at track days and things like that. And uh, hopefully she'll be up and running for the summer. I really hope so um that's my that's my aim anyway this summer i really want to get her out and enjoy her um thanks for watching guys leave a like if you uh, like the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching